So here we have the Vauxhall Corsa on a 68 plate. I'm going to start off by hopping inside the car to run through some controls first of all. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and over on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the bottom, you can see the total miles of this car. They are 15,353. Above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change that information for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information using controls on the indicator stalk. And above that, we have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges. If we back out to the steering wheel on the left-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter, and over on the right-hand side, both stereo and phone controls. The stereo itself is over in the center just here. So uh, up in the top left-hand corner, you have your audio options for the car. If I hit source, you'll see that we have got FM, AM, and uh, DAB radio, USB input, and Bluetooth audio as well. If you listen to your own music, the Bluetooth audio needs to be set up, so you need to pair your phone uh, from here. Just hit search device and follow the instructions on screen from there. Uh, we can plug in a USB device. That USB device could be your smartphone, in which case you can project certain voxel friendly apps up onto the screen as well, like Apple CarPlay, for example. And then we have satellite navigation built into the car as well. A nice clear color display, very, very easy system to use. We've done a video showing this system working, which you can find on our website and on our YouTube channel as well. To the left of the screen, we have the city button to make the power steering lighter. We can turn on the heated steering wheel. Uh, the heated passenger seat, the heated driver seat. We can also hit the deadlock button. That will lock the car doors from the outside and unlock them from here as well. Below that, we have the air conditioning for the car. So uh, you can control the temperature, the fan speed, and the direction the air is being distributed in. That button will turn your air conditioning on and it's on when that light shows. Same button again to turn it off, of course. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly depending on the temperature you set here. We have a 12 volt charging socket and USB input and then a five speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.